All right, so in the last video, we set up our Flutt application. So in this video, we're going to be doing our uh, login screen. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, I have my emulator running already, as you can see. So I'm going to run this application here. Yeah, you can go ahead and click on run and um, basically let's wait for this to finish up. All right, so we have our application running already. So we have this test application that comes with Flutter. So basically what we can do is um, we can go ahead and clear all this code. So first thing I should do is um, clear the power crop. It's written in that place and I'm going to like, um, first, let's go ahead and create a folder. So I'm going to put this folder, models. So I use the MVC style when I work with them, get text. I'm going to be using views. Then after views, I need a um, controller. So that is MVC. Controllers. Okay, good. Then in the views here, let's go ahead and create a file called um, login. Login page dot that. So I'm going to call this login page dot that. Then I'm going to import package flutter. Material of that my okay. system is a little bit slow. I'll show you on the So I'm going to select stateful widget and I'm going to call this login page. All right, so you can just return a scaffold here. All right, good. So basically, in this um, place, we could go ahead and just replace this with um login page. So this is an import click. Uh, the imports, yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes the auto import doesn't like doesn't work on my system for some reason. So I'm just going to head over to the views without myself. I'm going to select login your that login page your that okay. Then I can just delete all this. Then um basically to remove this blue squiggly, I can put const here, delete it, and. We can call this um forum map. Alright, good. So if you should save this, we should have our login uh, our login screen as you can see. And I want to remove the banner, so I'm just going to do debug. It should be false. Save this and we'll have um what am I having? So just to receive this. Like what am I having? No, let's alt restart. Okay, yeah. It has disappeared. I think my system is actually low. I see. I mean, my system is actually slow. So we can have all this basic text, like login page. All right, so I'm just going to like make sure we go ahead fast because we don't want um, a video to be like very, very long. So, so as everybody will be able to watch. So we have a column and I just scroll on also first have a text that says login page initially. So we have a text that says login page and I can go ahead and do uh main main as alignment so center. So we are going to center it there. And um I believe I can just wrap this in the center. Okay, so wrap the column in the center. Good. So we have it in the center there. We are going to come and style the Next phase. So then after that, I can go ahead and have this constant size box. I can say give the item let's say 30. Okay, then uh, I can remove this constant actually and just uh as it here for now. Now what I want to have is a container. Don't worry about this. Basically, we should save the save that stuff, it's going to disappear. So this container onto it. Not the text that chance of it text field. Uh, for some reason, I'm having an error that says, um, let's remove this. Okay, good. You know what? You are just going to add it in the front. You can see this. I don't know why. I think my system is actually very, very low for some reason. Sorry, I'm just going to put this. Now, right here, I'm going to just make the width the full screen. So I'm going to say double, double infinity. Good. So if we look at the screen, we'll have an input feed right there. Okay. Taking forever to show up. Um, no, I'm just going to auto restart. Ah, God.
Okay, good. So now it's showing up now. So what I want to do is now in this place also the decoration. So it is this. They now to have um. I don't want to leave it text actually. They want border. I don't want any border actually. I can just do input border dot none. All right. So we are going to be standing this with the container instead. So this long border is going to disappear. As you can see, it is gone. Then here we can go and pass in decoration. Like I can see box decoration. So box decoration wants, I don't want color like this, we want color gray. Gray of, um, let's say 200, good. So border radius should be 10. It's fair enough, nice. So this is what we want. So I want to have, um, in this we want to have our int text. So int text is going to be a email because I believe uh, we are having login with email and password, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, disappeared again. Just, uh, I believe you won't have this issue as me, but yep, and yeah, it is. So, we have this login page here for some reason. The text is not showing up. Let me just again, I'll wait until it starts. Wow, as you can see, I've even I was I just started already before it even showed up. Wow. I'm so sorry about this. We basically just have to be with me, so I've just started already. And uh, what I don't want to do is uh, content padding actually. Yes, I'm going to make this uh, symmetric. So I want this to be, um, I believe it's horizontal. So I want it to be from that wall, from um, this side. It should come somewhere like this. Oh God, are you kidding me? Okay, good. Now, once this is done, yeah, what we can do is, um, we don't want to re repeat this container, so we can go ahead and um, extract this as a widget. So we can call this input widget actually. So we can call this input widget. All right, good. And uh, I can just cut this. So basically, that's what I'll do. I'll cut it inside the views. We we'll create a new folder called widget. Then inside the widget, I'm just going to create a file called input widget for that. Then I can go ahead and import um float um package flutter material dot that I can paste this right here and um, everything seems okay. Then right here we can go ahead and import it. Again, it's not auto completing for some reason. I think my system is uh, misbehaving. Nope, it's not what we want. So we want um we want views. Okay, views login page, views um widgets, then um input widgets. And we have an error that says um okay, I believe I don't need to pass in these views. Okay, good. And I just make this um constant. Okay, so let's save this and uh, we should still have the same thing on the screen. But uh, what I want to do is just uh, have this in the size box again, size box, and I'm going to paste in this. So we are going to have it two times now. All right, good. So with that on the out of the way, what we can go ahead and do now is uh, in this input widget, we can go ahead and specify some parameters so you can see and a string we want to receive the in in the in text we want to receive an in text i want to receive a controller so you can see text editing controller it's called to controller then what do we need again i believe that is everything okay we can do that and do final uh bully yeah. so i'll score text um, i don't know what's wrong with this sound uh, i'm later just ignore it ignore everything that is here then in this um in text here we can go ahead and just replace with in text and um have an error okay it's a constant so we have to remove this constant so we can just paste it here so in text then what we need to do is in our text feed controller we can go ahead and pass in controller the controller that we created and um obscure text is like uh, basically it's just true or false so we can go and do obscure text so this is the one is going to like make our text um 
if it's a password, it's going to, you know, uh, give you those dot, 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 dots. Yeah, so we basically these are ones, controller. Okay, we need um controller actually. So let's go ahead and create a controller for, for our widget. So we can say final text edit controller, email controller, then we also want for the password. Good. Now for the uh for the email, we can go ahead and pass this email and remove this constant here. So this one will be constant here, it's not needed, then we can go ahead and make this for the password. Good. Save this. Um, save. Taking forever to reflect. Good. Now for the password, if I should go ahead and input a few, input anything for the password. You see we have um, this dot 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 dot. Good. The one that is that of the way, what we're going to do is um, go ahead and I can, I believe I, I should reduce this to 20. Okay, well, then we can go ahead and create our button. So our button, basically, we can just have an elevated button. So we can have a new button that has a child constant of our login. So save this. And yep, we have our login button in that place. And it seems fair enough. What I can do is uh, we can style it. So you can see, I believe it's style. Elevated button dot style from good. Uh, I, think, I believe this is background. So the primary is um, at uh, outdated already. So I'm going to set black. So I want black. But on um, padding it should be okay. Horizontal, then I want it to have vertical. Let's say vertical of 20. I mean, it should be a little bit big. Nice. Uh, it's too big actually. So let's make it 10. Then. All right, good. So once this is done already, the last thing I want to do is uh, I don't like the elevation there. So I'm just going to remove the elevation. So the elevation is like this thing that is. So it's going to be there. Uh, you can see it's not glued like to the wall. I believe I can just make this 15. Okay, good. Once that is done already, I believe we, we need to in, in, um, install a package. So just going to do Control Shift P. That and I'm going to import Google Fonts. So I want to make use of Google Fonts. Google Fonts is um, just to style our text and make it beautiful. And um, there's something about responsiveness I do, like a shortcut kind of stuff. So basically, yeah, we can grab size equals to media query of size dot width. All right, so we can have this there for now. We'll get back to that later. So the first one today is our login page. I got to have it style. So basically, we are not using text style in this case. We're going to be using the Google fonts. So you're going to say Google fonts dot poppins. Yes, I call want to make use of poppins. And Google Pods is not available. So let me try and import. You see, I don't know what's wrong with. We should see your code today. So I'm going to do import. Package hopefully, um, Google Fonts. Okay, good. So, remove the constant, save. I'm having an error. Okay, this one is not supposed to be there. Save. And we should have another font on the screen for the login page. So, I mean, the font should make it look beautiful, you know. Performing auto load. All right, good, fair enough. Then um, you can look at this size here. Yeah. So basically what I do is I just do size times 0, 0, I can do 0, 0, 5. So basically this means it's going to be like the same text size on every, every full screen, basically like responsiveness in case, in case you want to test in another screen. So I'm going to make this 80, okay. Then um, for our login also, we're just going to, Style it Google Fonts dot poppins. Then I can go and a font size 18. But remember, it's not going to be 18, you are going to use um size. This is not the best way to work with responsiveness, but I mean, these are um, the quick and uh, quickest way to like go around with it. So good, we have that, and we also have to just let's start it. 
No, we don't need to start the, the in, in text. I think it's okay. But if you want, if you want to start the in text in future, basically, you can head over your input declaration and type in Insta. Like I got and specify Google Fonts. Okay. No, let's just go ahead and make it Google Fonts only. We don't need to pass in this. So let's just make it open solely. Now we have to import it right here. So let's do import package Google Fonts. All right, so basically uh, it will be the same fonts as you are expecting. All right, good. So basically, I believe we are done. Okay, we are not actually done. So this column here, let's go ahead and wrap it to a pad. So I want a padding, symmetric, horizontal. Horizontal taxi. Okay, so I'm just going to reload this again. I'm so sorry about this slow system. Oh god, so I'm just going to auto restart. I don't know when I click on auto restart, it re it reloads before it even restarts. So I'm just going to put it, make this joint it. That is a little bit too much. So let's make it. Wow. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, good. Yeah, so 20 is um better. Uh, I believe that is all for the login page. In the next tutorial, you're going to be looking at um, the sign up page. There, you start consuming our API.